jobs? No, you guys can't just move our things out like this. Boss's orders. Who? The landlord? Did he tell you to do this? He said he would work with us. Alicia, calm down. I'm calling him right now. You guys need to put our shit down in our office right now. This is illegal. We've been paid right here for three years, and now we're behind a couple of months. He thinks he can do this? He thinks he can just put our shit on the street? The nerve. Fucking nerve. I'm going to sue him. Ma'am, tenants aren't protected from commercial evictions the way they are residential. Yeah, that may be true, but he still has to take us to court first. Yeah, trust us. You know our rights. So I suggest put our shit down. Ma'am, what you need to do is calm down. No, fuck that. He can't do this. He said he would work with us. No. Put our shit down. He said calm down. Hey, calm down. What is something you deeply regret? Does it have anything to do with love? <sighs> kind of. Although I had a lot of fun in college and was really able to sow my wild oats, I hate that I was the cause of so much heartache in my lady's life. <laughs> and often at times when I'm trying to make things happen for us, career-wise. I think I put extra pressure on myself. Because in a way, I still feel like I have to make up for what I did. Mm. I owe her triple the happiness, you know? Come in. Sir, there's an Eva here to see you. Send her in. Hello, Jackson. Are you out of your fucking mind? What did I tell you about speaking to me that way? Your husband works just a few floors up. You think I don't know that? So you would risk us both getting caught? This is insane. Insane, perhaps. But it's also a lot of fun. Don't worry, Jackson. Just give me what I came for, and I'll be on my way. Eva, how long is this going to last? Mm, could be three months. Could be three years. I haven't decided yet. job shit which is never for me. Giving up eight hours a day to do some bullshit work that barely makes any money just ain't appealing. I'm not saying you have to go that route. There are other ways to go about it. You already have an entrepreneurial mindset, so start a legit business. Start something you can pass to your kids. You know all kids? <laughs> I'm just saying, you've got so much potential. I know you can be something great. I um. So you talked to Jordan? Nope. We've been walking right past each other every day without saying a word. But I don't care.
You can, Monica. Y'all will work it out. And if we don't, oh well. She said some pretty cold things to me the other day, and I'm just over her right now. She was going to have to get used to us being together now. Together. Yes, together. I know I haven't officially asked you, but will you be my girlfriend, Monica? I know this took a long time, but I'm done with the bullshit. I want a real woman by my side. I love you. the water, don't you? <laughs> I've accepted that you just love to do romantic shit. That's just who you are, the ultimate square. Yeah, you like it. <laughs> Whatever. So how you and your friend Monica doing? Still not talking. Next subject. All right. So when are you going to stop playing and be mine? <laughs> what? Jordan don't belong to nobody but uh, God. You know what I mean. Look, Jordan. You ain't gonna stop putting on this front. Uh, we talk about anything. We live together. The other night was amazing. We both work hard. Both look good. <laughs> I mean, come on. I want you to be my girl. Keith, my last relationship was five years long, and I was deeply in love with him. I thought he was too because he proposed, so I started to plan our wedding day. And a month before the big day, I ended up in the doctor's office being prescribed medication for an STD. Don't worry, it was a temporary one, but yeah, that was that, so. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm not here to hurt you. Just think about it, okay? Man, why don't you tell me you were behind your rent at the office? You know I would have lent you that money. We already owe you money. I'm gonna figure it out. Yo, I love you, but he stayed claiming he's gonna figure this shit out and it just keep getting worse. Normally, I would tell you to shut up. But you're saying exactly what I'm thinking. We need my money. ASAP. How can I loan you the money to get your spot back? Jordan, stop. I still haven't paid you back from the last loan. So nobody gonna be the bigger person, huh? I guess. Y'all wanna act like kids? So, Jordan. You really gonna tell Keith no? Girl, I'm not ready for a relationship. Will you ever be? Probably not. <laughs> you can't keep letting your past control your future. Save that Instagram quote for somebody else, please. 
Check out Daddy over there, though. He keep giving me the eye. <laughs> Woo! So we know we're supposed to get some of our money during that next session. What? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. They sent the email saying that the next one, we're going to watch the footage they have so far and get half the money. Hell, yeah. That's some of the best news I've heard in a while. What day is the session? They got slots open for Saturday and Sunday. Let's do Saturday. I'm not trying to wait another day for it if I don't have to. Saturday it is. Look at her over there. Stop. She can't help herself. Stop judging. She's going to be alone forever. Don't say that. And why did you tell me she was coming? Uh, because I thought you guys would make up. So what do you think is going to happen with the office situation? I don't know. The landlord is barely getting back to us. And after doing the math, we came to the realization that the attorney fee would be just as much, if not more, than what we owe in rent. Well, you know we get half of our money from that study soon. Do we? Yeah. They sent a message hyping up the next session. They said we get half the cash and get to watch half the footage. Anything else right now. <laughs> Can't wait to get that check. Couldn't care less about watching the footage, though. Why would I want to see myself talk? Well, they said they want to show it to us now and at the very end, so we can see how everyone's views changed over time. Interesting. Jordan, did you, um... Make an email about next week's session. Oh, yeah, I got it. They want us to come in on either Saturday or Sunday? But I have important meetings on Saturday, so... I need that check ASAP. Oh. But I guess we can go on Sunday. So how are you and Dima? We're good, actually. He asked me to be his girl. Just made it official. What? You up next, Jack? Yeah, right. I'll leave the relationship stuff to you and Q. Hey, speaking of, you and Alicia looked a little weird at the last game night when you brought a Russell Hanover. Him. He's texting me right now. Worried about where I'm at. See, that's what I mean. I don't need nobody keeping tabs on me. I'm about to text him when I'm going out on a date. Don't do that. Why? Dude. That's not right. He needs to know we are not serious and we are just talking. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Like, something weird about this whole Alicia and Russell thing. So you think they fuck? Hell no. Nah. I know they didn't have sex. Alicia wouldn't lie to me about that. I'm just thinking it was something more than what she told me. Which was? That he was just somebody she was talking to in college when she was trying to get over me. But uh, she said there was no, no kissing, no nothing. What do you think it could be? I'm thinking maybe there was kissing and there was something a little bit more. Like, maybe they had real feelings for each other at one point. Why don't you just ask her? I tried after the game night. But I'm just wondering, you know, if asking makes me look petty. No, I don't think so. If it bothers you, you probably should. You're cute. What if you ask? And then she said they fucked. <laughs> that won't happen, man. I told you, ain't nobody else fucked my girl. Yeah, I...
You're getting that text? No. You're just gonna dine and dash. You still ain't trying to have sex with me. So it's not like I can finish off the job. For real, Mom. How much longer am I on probation? Probably not much longer, babe. We'll go pick up some money for my boy Trey. Picking something up from Trey usually means I won't see you till tomorrow. Nah. Yeah, okay. Y'all usually start drinking and smoking. And chilling with all those random girls he always has going by there. You ain't got nothing to worry about. This is where that trust thing has to start kicking in. So when are you coming back? I got a better idea. What? Go to my place a little later. Wait for me there. You can have sex as loud as you want without worrying about your hating ass roommate. <laughs> Mr. Duvall emailed me saying he needs to see you in the conference room immediately. You should know my answer to that, Doc. None of my regrets come from love or romance. If anything, my number one regret is giving women the time of day when they start calling and texting too much I regret giving them my number. And when they start getting jealous and obsessed, I regret giving them the D. <laughs> but seriously, I regret things like putting a client in a high cost investment or inappropriately using leverage, accidentally wearing the same tie in a week. Shit that has to do with my job, AKA my livelihood, AKA my money. You wanted to see me, sir? Jackson, have a seat. Jackson, you know some of the most dominant creatures on the planet are women? A female octopus will literally strangle a male octopus after they have sex. Once that fun is done, she will end his life. A female lion is a much better hunter than a male lion. She will go out, hunt, bring food home, and he is left all alone. He has absolutely nothing. Sir, uh, I'm confused about- We all know about said. bees, right? The queen bee runs that hive. And when a male bee mates with her, he's dead. It's all over. What I'm trying to say here, Jackson, is you let a woman end your career here. And with any other firm here in New York, if I have anything to do with it. Sir, I didn't know that she You didn't know what? That we have security cameras in our house? She did. And I know you didn't know you were getting fired today. Well, now you know, Jackson. Time to clean out your office and please leave. And you can tell your friends at Big Apple Concierge, I'm through doing business with them too.
good, D. Yeah, shit. Something like trying to be faithful. Nice skin dudes, man. Try it, like, Just be. Yo. Shit. Nah, just post it. Then Mike came to come fuck with your boy. What? Okay, okay. Alright, we're here. Shalika and her homegirl about to come through. Alright, this one my girl don't like me coming over here. My man's always got bitches coming through. <laughs> yeah, everybody girl hate for them to come over here, bro. Man, yo, your boy trying to be faithful and Shalika's homegirl be on me tough. You lying. Fuck, I got a lie. I'm trying to give you no play, bro. <laughs> I want your Drake looking ass, man. <laughs> <laughs> So I got some good news. <laughs> so I spoke with the landlord and we made a deal. He said that as long as I can come up with the two months of rent we owe on the office, we can have it back. Oh, we should get a Duvall's check at the end of the week. And I might be coming into a little money myself, so. Everything should be good. Money from where? Don't worry about it. Just know that I'm really gonna take care of it, okay? For now, <clears throat> celebrate this tiny victory. And how do you want to celebrate, huh? I got a few ideas. By now, you know what my ultimate regret is. So yes, it has to do with love. But I'm not sure if I regret what happened with Russell or if I just regret not telling Quincy about it for years. I mean, I know it's because I thought he couldn't handle it, but now I feel like holding on to this little secret for so long doesn't make me any better than he used to be. Okay. What you been up to, Darius? Not much. A little this, a little that. You could wait to come until after you ordered your food with tissue. I could have, but I didn't. And that been that. Anywho, 
I was calling to RSVP for your event tomorrow night. You already told me you were coming. Oh. Tish, what? I invited Ty over. Let me see. on my birthday. It's all about you, huh? Your birthday is Monday. Don't do it. Just tell me why. Okay, why is it every time I invite a guy over, they think it's a green light for a booty call? You want to be around as much as you used to? Stop tracing. No, I don't. Why is that? I'm just busy. You know how it is. Yeah, I get it. Where are you going, T? Bathroom. Don't, don't come up on me. Take a sip of water. Take a sip of water. Take a sip of water. So what you want to eat? What's wrong with you? Jordan, you think texting me that shit was cool? I really don't find shit about this funny. Wait a minute, Keith. Who are you talking to? Jordan, I'm not about to keep playing these games with you. I asked you the other day to be my girl, and you agreed to think about it. Then you turn around and text me to say you're going on a date with another dude. What the fuck made you think that was OK? Keith, you are tripping. No, this is what you want, right? You want some complicated shit. I was making it way too easy for you. Why are you making this shit so fucking hard? I take you on nice dates. I give you all of my time. I deal with your nasty ass attitude. I've been doing whatever the fuck I could to show you that you're special to me. And I'm a good ass dude who's ready for some real shit. Again, all of these things I've heard before. So what you gonna do, be fucking single forever? Jordan, I done did all of that shit. I done did the parties, I done did the bitches, I done did all of that dumb ass shit. I'm trying to show you that I'm a man, a real man who's ready for some real shit to build. All I want is you, Jordan. I can't. I, 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 I can't. Don't you understand that, Keith? I can't open my heart up to you. When we're together, yes, it feels really good. But as soon as I get by myself, I just realize I've been down the road before and I just... You just need to let us go, Keith. Just let me go. You can know someone so long Only to find you don't know them at all Jordan's regret does involve love. I regret giving a motherfucker all my power. Power, not just during the years we were dating, But how that has lasted until now. I 
power that's preventing me from Can you turn off the camera? Please. about your girl. I told you I got a girl. I just want to please you. Fuck. Shit. That's what I like to hear, okay? So I figure first we'll start off with some measurements and then I'll gauge where you are and from there we'll go ahead and get your program going. Cool? All right, let's get it. All right, face this way. I hope you're calm because you're close. All right, go ahead and lift up your hands for me. Nima. They don't bite. All right, I know they don't bite, but it's proto. All right. So, um, how long have you been doing this? Yo. Shit, man. About five years now. Got a little mileage on me. Yeah. Good, because I am very serious about my goal. Baby, it wasn't like that. I'm not talking to nobody. Nobody. This is what I trust that has to start kicking in. I just want you. I'm done with the bullshit. Can you be my girl for Monica? I regret giving someone the benefit of the doubt over and over and over again. I regret being blinded by the sweet nothings and the gifts and the kisses and the sex. I regret having the truth right in front of my face and still somehow allowing myself to believe the lies. I regret allowing myself to be so disrespected that now I'm not only going to bed with a broken heart, but with a bruised ego because I feel, I feel so stupid. What I don't regret though, is making him pay for it. It hurts like hell, but it's a strange addiction. My medicine, opium, my favorite affliction. I dream of giving you my tears in a heart shaped tin. Darling, don't say how sweet till you taste the salt within.
Welcome, gentlemen. Come on in. Congratulations, gentlemen. You made it halfway through this study. You'd be surprised how many people don't even make it to this point. Not everyone's comfortable talking about their feelings on camera or to someone they don't even know. You all should give yourself a pat on the back. At this point, we will give you half the money that was promised. Good, I need it, especially after this whole ball thing. Okay, let's get started. Alicia Davis, 26, in a relationship and loving every minute. 